welcome. Today we're going to start looking at Scratch. So what is Scratch? Scratch is a visual programming language. It basically teaches you the concepts of programming and allows you to very easily make games. Uh, it's kind of geared towards kids, but adults can use it too uh, to get you started in programming. Uh, it is a free program under a GPL license put out by MIT, uh, and their website is scratch.mit.edu. And you can download and install it on your desktop, whether you're running uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. But they also have a web interface that not only makes it easy for you to start using it, but also allows you to share your code and see other example codes that other people have created very easily. Uh, but today, we're just going to use the web interface to keep things simple. So here we are. Again, it's scratch.mit.edu. And we're going to click Try It Out. And here is the web interface. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this little tab off to the side here by clicking the X. But what we have here is we have our game off here on the left. And then down at the bottom, we have uh, two things here. You can have different stages, which is basically your background. Think of them as like levels. But then you can have different sprites. Sprites are 2D characters in games. And you can have more than one character, whether it be uh, your player and objects they collect or enemies that they attack or get attacked. And you can have multiples of those there. And you select them down here. And we'll get more into changing those later. Um, and then over here, when you have a sprite selected, such as our cat right here, which is the default, uh, you have three tabs up here. You have scripts where you actually create your program with these blocks, which is what we're going to be doing today. Costumes, which is you can change how the character looks or create animations for it. And then sounds, so that your character can make sounds. But real simply today, we're going to work on some basic movements. So make sure you have your cat selected here, so you can see it's outlined by the blue box. And then over here, under scripts, we have multiple categories. And as you can see, there's motion, looks, sounds, pen, data, events, controls, sensors, operators, and more blocks. And today we're going to start off with some very basic controls, events, and motion. So basically, we're going to make our cat move when certain things happen. Uh, so if we click here on events, you can see that these are when certain things happen. So in programming, you have to tell the computer to do something when something happens. And these are your events, when something happens. So um, let's start off with our little flag here. As you can see, there's a flag at our top here. And this is how you start your game normally. So consider that a start button. So all we're going to do is drag this out to here. So this is where we're going to be creating our program all over here, our script. So this says, when the flag is clicked, do something. So what do we want to do? We're going to move our cat here. I'm going to click motion. And I'm going to say over here that uh, I want to move him to a certain point. So as you can see, I can start the cat wherever I want. I can drag him here or here. Um, and he may be at a different point when your game's running, but you always want him to start at the same point. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this go to x, y block. And we're going to connect it. As you see, you get close here. You get that white line. You let go, and it snaps those blocks together. So what is this x and y? So when you're working on the screen here, left and right will be considered your x axes, and y is considered your or up and down. Is, yeah, y is considered your up and down. So as we go more up, the numbers get larger. As we go right, they go larger for x. If we go down on the y, they go into negatives. And if we go left on the x, they go into uh, negatives. So if you look right here, again, this is your x and y. And this is telling us currently where our mouse cursor is. And 0 is the very center of the screen. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say 0 for x and 0 for y. And now, when I click the Start button, our cat's going to jump to the center of the screen. And so at any point, if I drag him over here, anytime I click this flag, he's going to jump to the center of the screen. If I wanted him to jump someplace else, let's say I wanted him to start up here, I can figure out where that is by looking where my mouse cursor is. Again, looking at the numbers right here as I move my mouse cursor. And you can see if I want him to be right about here, it'd be about uh, negative 150 and positive 145. So I'm just going to do negative 150 for x. And I'll just do 154 positive for Y. So now, no matter where he is, if I click the Start button, he'll jump up there. 
let's go ahead and start him in the center of the screen. So again, I'm gonna set these back to zero and zero. So no matter where our cat is, if we click this flag, he's gonna to jump to the center of the screen. Now, we can have him jump to someplace else after that. Although if I put another block, let's say this block here to the negative 155 and positive 150, uh, or negative 150 and positive 150. I'm gonna click start here. Even if he's over here, if I click start, it kind of looks like he just jumps right there. And that's because computers are so fast. What's really happening is he's jumping to the center of the screen, then up there, but he's doing it so fast that we don't see it. How do we create so we can see the motion? We wanna see the cat moving. Well, we can disconnect this block and just get rid of it. And what we can do now is we have this glide to box. So it says glide one second to a position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, connect this here, and I'm gonna set this to the numbers that we had before, negative 150 for X and 150 for Y. And so now when I click start, so even if the cat's over here, what he's got, what's gonna happen, he's gonna to jump to the center of the screen, he's gonna to jump to zero, zero, and then he's gonna take one second to move to the next spot, so watch. There we go. And every time I click start, he's gonna to jump to the center and glide to that spot. And how fast he moves is how fast you say here, so it takes him one second. So if we want him to go slower, we're gonna say, let's take three seconds. Now, if I hit start, he jumps to the center and slowly moves to that position. If we want him to go faster, we can do a fraction of a second. So I can say 0.1 second. So it's gonna be real fast. He's gonna jump to the center of the screen and glide up to the side of the screen there. So let's set it back to one second here. And what we can also do is we can actually connect a few of these in a row. And I'm gonna set the last one to zero, zero. So that way he always ends up at the center of the screen again. And then I'll just set this to another number. I'll say 25 for X and I'll say negative 200 for Y. And now, no matter where he is on the screen, if we click start, he's gonna to jump to the center. He's gonna make a triangle basically and start end up at the beginning of the screen again. So I can click that again and every time he will do that. So that is a very basic look at some basic movements. In the next video, we're gonna look at actually controlling him with our mouse and or keyboard. We'll probably start off with the keyboard and then move on to mouse so that we can actually control our character rather than have preset movements for him. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was uh, simple enough for you. I look forward to uh, you know showing you more. And by the end of this, we're gonna have a very simple little spaceship game we're going to make uh, or something along those lines. We'll see where we go. I do thank you for watching. Again, uh, Scratch can be found at scratch.mit.edu and right away you can just go there and start using it on your desktop computer. And um, also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my videos, uh, you can check out my filmsbychris.com. That's uh, uh, filmsbychris, Chris with a K, dot com. There's a link in the description. And there you can search through all my, all my videos where I go over uh, uh, much more on different types of programming. Uh, again, I hope that you enjoy this, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.